Hi, it's Eunice from Aerial Practice, the best place for beginner aerialists to grow together. If you're new, I would like to give you a big welcome and invite you to click the subscribe button so you can see all the future videos. If you're a fan, I thank you for coming back for another wonderful episode. Today's video is the second episode of Aerial Hoop Basic. That means that we'll go over another 10 aerial hoop basic moves. We'll start the video with some of the easier moves and then gradually move on to the fun, challenging one. If you are very new to aerial hoop, I would recommend you to first check out the aerial hoop basic one and then to also get a spotter before you try some of these tricks. Some of these tricks might also not be beginner friendly that you might want to save it to try later. I will end this video with a short simple flow combining some of these tricks. A quick shout out to this week's feature. Thank you for supporting this channel and practicing with us. Now let's get back to our practice of today. Today I'm pulling myself up to start from the sitting position. Sitting the hip to the back so I can make some space to bring my right leg to the back of the hoop. Now my left leg is in front. I'm bringing the opposite shoulder in and to the side. Notice that the left side of the hip is sitting to the back. I'm bending my right leg to arrive at the cradle position. Just have some fun with the hands here. I'm coming back up. Remember, we practice working on keeping the leg straight and pointed while bring the left leg to the back. Now you know it's the left shoulder's turn. Bending also the left knee. Next, I'm going to show you a little fun roll to get into the cradle from here. Bring the left shoulder back. Keeping my right hand in front of my chest. I'm letting my body to follow my right arm to turn to get here. Let me show you one more time on the other side. My left knee is bent, body is to the side. Now I'm following my left arm to turn and back to cradle. The key here is to keep the feet pointing to the side. Keep the glute and legs nice and strong during the turn keeping them close to the hoop to avoid landing in wrong, painful positions. Come back up. This time, instead of bringing the left leg forward to sit, I'm crossing the left leg to this position. Directly going to the next track, I'm bringing my upper body to the other side of the hoop and leaning myself down to mermaid. Come back up and switch side. Sitting the hip back, crossing the right leg, and leaning the body down. Mermaid poses are always nice and easy but beautiful. There's also a flow with this trick. You can find the link in the description below. Let's bring the fun to the next level. I'm going into a pipe and bring my legs up to the top bar. Left leg to the back. Arch for another beautiful pose. Bring the left leg back and switch legs. I am bringing the right leg back for the next trick. And first I will show you the easy version. Keep both legs pressing down on the top bar 
I'm bringing my head behind the hoop and pushing it forward. Nice and easy. Now let's bring the head back. And here's a more challenging one. Grab the hoop in the back. Use your back bend hands, which means you're pushing the hands up and to the back. If your shoulders are inflexible like mine, let's just keep working on it and we'll save this for later. Come back down to sitting for a quick simple split. From the sitting position, I'm leaning my body to the right and straightening my legs. Bending the right knee and bringing it where my hands are, I'm keeping my glute and my legs engage to secure my position. Now I can let my hands go and straighten my right leg to a split. Come back up and switch side. Leaning to the left, straightening the legs. Bringing the left knee to the hands. I'm keeping my body engaged and bring the left leg to a split. You can also find the link below for an easy beginner flow with this trick. Return to the sitting position. I'm going to share how I like to go from sitting to standing. Stepping my feet on the hoop. I'm grabbing the strap and strengthening the legs. From here, I'm pushing my hip up and slowly bringing my chest up to standing. I have to watch out for my head here. I'm bending my knees and hugging the strap, trying to squeeze the shoulders tight to keep my elbows close together. Preparing my mind for the next step, slowly bringing my legs to the back and arch for a pose. Bring my body back and back to sitting. Let's have some extra fun today by adding a little challenge at this very last trick. Going into an inverted moon. I'm leaning down on my right shoulders, stepping my feet up to go into the man in the moon position from the last episode. Let's focus on getting the hand position right. Right hand first, turning the thumb to the right, grabbing the hoop from the left side. Now I'm ready to lift my butt up from pushing the shoulders and the feet against the hoop. But first I'm turning out my left hand like I'm holding a tray. Now I'm lifting my butt up to grab the hoop from the right side. Don't forget to keep pushing the shoulders and the feet the whole time. Now I'm going to bring my hip up to the final position. Then I'm bringing my hip down and see if I can get this on the other side. the right side. Right hand is holding a tray, then scoop it under the butt. Don't try this alone if you have never done this before. It took me two years to have the confidence to finally work on this trick. So just take your own time. Now let me show you a quick flow combining some of these tricks we today. Touch, we break, make it seem like we feel the same. We love what we have. We lie, but we know we can't wire or it doesn't grow. Give up, let it go. 
I hope you enjoy these 10 basic aerial hoop moves. Leave me a comment and let me know what you like best, what you find challenging. In a couple of days, I will be heading to the German mountain for a one-week aerial training. If you're curious to see what it's like, I welcome you to join me on the journey by following the upcoming vlogs. Take care now, practice safe, and see you in next week's vlogs. Keep playing games, can't go separate ways.